spot of lunch at the curry place. Right, nice little lunch. The reason we were there is because we were coming here to do home again. We need more pipe work. And now, uh, then we're going to go to the farm. It's starting to rain now, but let's see. All right, we're all done in the city. We're back. We've loaded up with some more plants. And um, we are going to, no, I don't go now to, to work, but it's very grey and it's been raining, so I think we might be getting wet. Right, I didn't film, but um, I'm absolutely soaking. I've just been uh, taking the, the pipe down off the pickup, but it's well tied on, which means it takes a bit of untying but anyway i've got it down some big cracks of thunder uh very close jow's over there she's gone to look at something i don't know what uh, i said i'm going to wait until this particular weather passes which shouldn't be long but um i, I got the pipe out but um, i'm just going to sit here for a minute see what she's decided can i show you what we've done or what we're doing that's the channel that was dug yesterday, that's one of them anyway. Um, and this channel was dug yesterday, we um, didn't have the pipe there, so we bought four lengths of pipe, we joined them together, and now we're burying them, but we're gonna need a, a lorry load of earth because it's it dips down there anyway, it's like a channel running. So uh, we'll have to order that when it, as and when, we might have to wait until we come back because uh, wrong time of year now, but at least it will hopefully settle and the pipe will do its job. All the rainwater that runs down here runs away. I didn't film when we started because it was pouring down, absolutely hammering down and thunder and lightning and yeah. Anyway. Uh, we've done what we're doing here. Joe's over there fixing water running into the pool. We know I noticed it wasn't running in. I said to her there should be water running into the pool, so she's fixing that. Uh, I'm gonna go home and get changed. I'm absolutely filthy. And um, yeah, very wet and very muddy. And, uh, yeah. So uh, I think it's time to go and get changed. Have a bath. Anyway, I'm going on. All right, good morning. Up at the crack of dawn. Come to collect bananas that Jad ordered. Um, we finally had a phone call to say six o'clock Sunday morning. Um, so that's what we're doing. We met in, or we've met the guy. I'm just going to go out and I'll show you. At May, you've been at the market, uh, right near the house, the market where I come to sometimes, the 7 Eleven and the little Lotus and whatever. He's on his way into the city, so that's where we met here. Right. Truckload of bananas unloaded. Bit sunnier now today. Let's hope it stays that way. Alright, third time lucky, third day. Come looking for more pipe, more pipe, more pipe. Um, Jam started on another job yesterday that uh, now requires pipe. So. Uh, that's what we do. Right, they um, didn't have what we wanted inside the store, but they've gone around the back where they they do the sort of bulk grow. Um, yeah, it's more for builders and stuff at the back rather than the DIY type at the front here. So we're going to go around the back and find them there. Right, this is the back side of doing homeless as well. The bulk stuff and the builders come it's like the more like a builder's merchant this backside but over there they have a load of PVC pipe which is what we after or what we bought another couple of pipes hopefully the last ones we'll need for a while
tying this down. It looked like a missile launcher. But uh, one eight inch, one six inch. That is hopefully the last. Three, we've been here three days on the trot now. All right, here again, gonna unload these pipes. This seemed to work yesterday anyway, after we did it, we were here for ages digging and it was in wet, very wet. But um, this worked anyway. We're gonna get a load of uh, soil delivered once the rainy season's finished and um, get them to dump it and get the tractor to come in and level it all off. So I will be able to stand back there where I am now or, or drive a little bit further forward and then back up there or drive in front wheels first but there'll be a parking space here then and of course the pipes are under for the for the rainwater so that's that I'll show you what Joe was doing yesterday as well after all right I carried the big one over this one will be a bit easier this one is the six inch diameter the other one was eight inch so uh, this one's going over to the pool. Alright, made it with the other pipe. This is what Joe was doing yesterday, one afternoon. Basically digging out that channel. When they uh, dug the, the pool and what have you, they dug, they put a pipe in, a concrete pipe there, but they put it in far too high and the pipe got crushed and damaged, which meant that the water wasn't filling into the pool which it should do because as I said to you well earlier in this video or when I filmed yesterday there's a channel that comes from that tree there all the way around here down here and joins up with a new channel that goes there and basically when it rains water runs down here fills this channel and obviously we dug the new channel so it would go out into the paddies but that's closed off at the minute waiting for the rice to uh, to sprout first and then um, it also runs into the pool. So when we don't want water into the paddies, that would be closed off and it would just run straight into the pool. But we needed to um, put a new pipe in there so you can close it off. Because if you just have a channel like that, it will just erode and um, that'll be the end of that. Or cave in and you can't close it off so easy. But um, so she's dug all that out. Still a bit of digging to do, but uh, just to get the pipe down to a, a height where the water will run into the pool, so another job done. But she was at it till late last night, it was dark and uh, she was very tired, as you can probably imagine. Birthday girl today, got a nice cake from her nieces. So she's gonna, uh, look there. Do the honor. Okay, it's a new working week. Um, yesterday was a holiday in Sweden. Um, it was Jao's birthday as well, and uh, Jao's birthday is the national day in Sweden, so hence it's always a holiday or a day off if it's the weekend. Um, when Jao has a birthday, so not that she has a day off though, she's very busy at night on Guy at the minute, um, trying to get everything done before we go, and uh, there's a lot to do. But um, yeah, it's a hot day. We're gonna go and do a bit of uh, grocery shopping first, and uh, then she'll be going over to uh, carry on at Nardong Goy, and I will be working short week, obviously, this week, because we don't start until Tuesday. So, uh, some, some uh, silver liners there. Right, let's get on. All right, lotuses, usual stuff. Chicken for the dogs, bit of this and that. Got to get some more medication as well on the way home. That's quiet in here today. Unfortunately, no chicken for the dogs, which is the main reason that we came. So, uh, 
going to have to go somewhere else to find that. Alright, done in Lotus. Um, come up to uh, Talat. Talat Bonam. Bon Bonam. Um, got my medication that I was missing from the other day. I'm going to go in seven. Jar's over there in the market. There she is. Um, need to get chicken from somewhere as well. Uh, we get some chicken in the village here, a smaller amount. We'll have to go again later on in the week. Try and find some bigger macro or lotus or somewhere. Right, another storm's broken out. I don't know whether I should go and pick her up or whether she will just work through it anyway because she's um, nothing if not determined. So, yeah. Looks like it's going to rain for about 20 minutes, 25, half an hour, something like that. So, at least I'll see. The water that I just showed you running in to the little pool, I've now diverted it this way. It stopped raining, thankfully, although it looks a bit black now. It's now running here. This is the extra pipe that we bought and uh, I took down yesterday. Um, we've still got to fill the hole, obviously, but um, it's now running into that paddy there now because, uh, and the channel running down is running into the pool now. Jow's fixed there, so. Uh, it's all looking more like how we wanted it. So that's good. Now I'm all wet, sweaty, dirty, stinking. And I'm just on my lunch break from work. So, <laughs> so uh, we'll soon be going home and um, it'll be back to work. But a uh, bit of exercise anyway. <laughs> Hey, good morning. Yeah, Thursday morning. This week's going seems to be going very quickly. Partly, I think, because Monday was a, a holiday, so uh, it's a short week. But um, it's already Thursday, and I think partly because we're going back to Sweden soon. And um, yeah, not really looking forward to that. But anyway, um, we're going to go over to Nadongoi um, ASAP because uh, Mini Macro Man has come back. Um, we're going to have some more. The same stuff but just a little bit of uh, retouching and doing uh, the work that they've been doing there the macro because it's what's left is too hard to do by hand and uh, better just to get him in again so uh, yeah i'll tell you that when he gets there all right we're here and uh, he's done quite a bit before we got here but just to show you this is the base for parking now uh, obviously it's soft at the minute um but it will dry out and um, I need to just like rake it out and flat a little bit but I'm um, pretty much done um, be able to park two cars here now which is good um, and obviously the pipes are going under the the earth there so that's good also the extra length of pipe the 8 inch pipe down here he has now filled that in I'll show you that now ask him to just flatten out this earth and fill it across here but um the actual um to the pipe in a little bit filled in so that's good so the water going under the road and to the paddies down there he's taken down the concrete cylinder that we bought yesterday but now he's had a mechanical misfunction so uh, we have to see what uh, how long it takes him. I am back and uh, got a few hours before work, so I'm finally going to do something about this tree. It absolutely drives me potty. And um, we've had some bamboos pushing the the branches up a little bit, but they're still too heavy, too long, too low. And um, I normally trim them. Uh, Dad doesn't like me trimming anything. Um, but it grows back better thicker and it's grown back a lot more since I've been trimming it so uh, and it has a lot of fruit when it's the season so I'm going to do it again 
and hopefully uh, it will be out of the way of the car uh, once and for all well once for a while anyway till it goes back again right, here we go a little trim just about to do it for a while so I'm going to take away all the cartoons now and then we're done right it's the evening now um, my lunch break from uh, work in Sweden it's um, one o'clock in Swedish time so um, I'm gonna go back to Nadon Guy now and uh, see how uh, how it looks the macro man came back fixed his machine and uh, my car making the noise uh, fixed his machine and fixed the job finished the job so um, I want to go and have a look, see how it looks, and I'll show you. Uh, Joe's still there, obviously, she's there till dark, but uh, it's almost sundown, so uh, we will be coming home soon. Right, first things first, this corner's been cut, which is exactly what I wanted, so there's more room for rain to run down around the corner and not disturb the pipes there. They're going to get blocked off in a minute. Um, because the water will run down that way for the time being. So that's good. I'm going to have a look at the other jobs and then uh, we shall see. Just friends, motorbike and sidecar here. Okay. There is the concrete pipe that we bought yesterday. And the... Um, The pipe into the pool is covered now, so I'm not sure where Joe wants the water to go, but the whole thing's been filled in and covered. So basically the concrete cylinder's there and the plastic pipe's there, and we open either the one or the other, depending on where she wants the water to run. If it's going to run down into the paddy on the left there, the green paddy, it needs to run through the concrete cylinder. If that's blocked, it runs down into the pool. When it rains, of course. Um, and the same thing from that end which I showed you when it rains but uh, yeah it's looking good and he's flattened it all out over there so uh, yeah very pleased about that I'm sure Joe is as well Not just down here from up there is where the concrete cylinder comes through but just to show you here this is what we had far too little of in the beginning the 8 inch pipe that runs right across there into there it now is all finished all flattened out and smooth. And Joe has planted some bamboo and some bananas here. Yeah, she'll be planting all the way around this uh, ditch as well. So uh, looking good. Uh, in between uh, uh, filming, I, um, I went down and found where the pipe was. I opened it out just so you could see. And also the concrete cylinder where it comes down there. Now you can see where the water runs when it runs. Not due for any rain now for a couple of days, so we'll have to wait and see. I was always going to pick some grass here for throwing in our fish pond. And I'm going to collect up the stuff and uh, get ready to go home. All right, it's Saturday. No, I don't go away. And uh, we've got a crowd in to help do some weeding and sort out in this place. So there's about 10, 10 or so workers today. Yeah, they've, um, I haven't filmed too much of uh, what they're doing, but basically, Joe's had the team in over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, to uh, basically to weed and uh, around each of the trees and whatever. So uh, it's organized before we go. So they are now eating lunch over there. One or two of them have disappeared for a bit, but they'll be back in a while. So uh, yeah, everything's going going well enough, and uh, quite a few trees have died unfortunately because of the weather. But uh, we expect that. So anyway, I'm going to go back to the house, leave them eat their lunch. I've got the same, which I'm uh, going to eat when I go back. Joe's sister made for us. We bought all the stuff and then asked her to make it. So uh, good one. Right, let's go. I'm parked in my parking space, by the way. Here. Um, was a bit too sh unsure about coming in too far because it's still soft and whatever you under, but um, it will be good. 